Hello, how you doing guys? James Every Boxing Devs here yeah, back for another video. And in this video I'd like to give you my prediction for Canelo Alvarez versus Daniel Jacobs. No, I think this is a great fight. No. Two of the best middleweights in the world. No. Going up against each other. I give a lot of credit to Canelo Alvarez, you know taking this fight, you don't have to take this fight could have taken a fight against a less dangerous opponent and made the same probably amount of money as you would have made with this fight you know so yeah let's get into it man let's see what, what happens so Canelo Alvarez coming off that win over Rocky Fielding you know um, great fight in my opinion looked very great you could tell he's turned into a bit of an aggressive fighter overnight with them two Gennady Golovkin victories. Uh, definitely showing more aggression in that Rocky Fielding fight and getting the job done and looking spectacular. Another another division weight class. Um, the title is accomplished, you know. His fourth, um, fourth belt in a different division, four division world champion. Now Canelo Alvarez. So yeah, Canelo's moving back down. He's vacated the 168 pound division belt. Um, he's gone back down to middleweight, and so he should do, in my opinion. You know, there's more better fights than 160 for him. So he's decided to take on Daniel Jacobs. Now Daniel Jacobs is a great fighter. If not one of the third best under Gennady Golovkin middleweight in the world, I'd say number one is Canelo, obviously. Second Gennady, but third, it's uh, arguably Daniel Jacobs in my opinion. So you know, this is a fight that are that the best are fighting the best. You know, so props to both of these men. You know, Daniel Jacobs and Canelo Alvarez. So. Let's go on a bit more about Daniel Jacobs and where he's at in his career at the moment. You know, um, Daniel Jacobs looking good. You know, um, not his best performances in the last couple of fights. But he does have a desire and will to um, overcome anything, you know. And we've seen that with regards to his cancer. You know, he was fighting cancer for a while and he won that battle, you know. So... Daniel Jacobs is a guy you can't really underestimate, you know. Great fighter, and um, you know what he's done in the sport is a miracle. Someone that is a cancer patient, it's really inspirational that he's a cancer survivor. He's made it this far in the sport of boxing. So it goes to show anything you want to do, you can do if you really put your mind to it. So that's very inspirational from Daniel Jacobs, you know. The last couple of fights um, at work was um, after the Gennady Golovkin fight. And that was a very close fight. And I believe it could have been a draw, you know. It's a really, really, really close fight, depending on how you scored it. I personally thought uh, Gennady won by one round. But regardless, I wouldn't have been surprised if it was a draw because it was that close. You know what I mean? Um... He did great, you know, he was using his lateral movement, using his power, and uh, uh, using that jab, his boxing ability, you uh, know, his shoulder rolls, his head movement, you know. Very good fighter, using lateral movement, and, you know, he mixed it up with his punches as well. So Daniel Jacobs did really well in that fight. You know, he's lucky not to get a draw. Next couple of fights was against Lurius the Cuba Stuber. Marius Lecky and uh, Sergei Devryachenko recently. That was uh, great performances from uh, Danny Jacobs. Not his best performances, I should say. But nevertheless, he got the job done and he looked good. He didn't look spectacular, but he looked good in doing that, you know. Using his boxing ability, using that jab, using his power punches, you know. His power punches are really powerful. That's what I've noticed about um Danny Jacobs, that uh, when he loads up and he puts uh, everything into his power punches, they are dangerous. And, do you know what I mean? He's got a lot of pop behind him as well. So he's doing really well, Daniel Jacobs. And this opportunity is for him. It's a big stage of his career. I think it's his biggest stage in his career at the moment. 
fighting Canelo Alvarez. You know, um, so this is the fight where he's got to take full advantage of this opportunity. He may not get another one like this again. Do you know what I mean? Um, how oh, I see this guy going down, this is going to be a great fight. Um, I'd say this is going to be a bit of a chess match because uh, both of them are. Well, Canelo Alvarez is a cow puncher. And um, Daniel Jacobs is a puncher slash boxer, you know. Um, it's gonna make stars make fights, so this is gonna make an intriguing fight style, you know. Both men are gonna have their success, in my opinion. But what it will come down to is who makes the better adjustments, in my opinion. And in my opinion, in this time, at this moment in this career. I think Canelo Alvarez will win this fight, you know. So let me go let me let me go into detail of how I think the way this fight is gonna play out. So the first couple rounds, both men will be cautious. Both men will it'll be a chess match, you know. You can, you know, establish that jab, establish that distance. And that that that's the sort of uh, fight that's gonna win this fight, whoever dictates the pace of this fight, do you know what I mean, both men can bang, um, not only that is uh, there's a rehydration clause in this fight, and that's a very interesting fact, you know, because i got to mention that rehydration clause, um, and it was from Canelo Alvarez's team, now they are the A side, do you get what I mean, they make the more money, so, Dictating the terms and conditions of this fight for Team Canelo. So they decided to make um make a ten pound rehydration clause once the weighing is over. So each fighter don't rehydrate to a stupid weight, you know, for fight night. You know, because we have seen both of them balloon up in weight during their fights, you know. Um we saw Daniel Jacobs balloon up in weight in that Canadi Golovkin fight. You know, he was able to absorb so much more punishment, you know. Do you get what I mean? And that's because of that weight advantage he had over Gennady Golovkin. And I believe he skipped the second day sort of weigh-in for the HBO uh, broadcast to um, tell the audience what their weights were, the boxes. You know what I mean? Um, so, um, in my opinion, this is a good, good sort of sort of tactic that they've put in place you know so both fighters don't balloon up in weight we know Canelo Alvarez balloons up a lot in weight as well so um on fight night they these both of these two fighters will be at a similar weight there's no sort of weight advantage going into this fight you know I believe that 10 pound weight uh, rehydration clause will make this fight even more competitive both men will be more faster than their usual, usual, you know, that's due to the rehydration and weight, you know, they're not going to put as many pounds uh, over the 24 hours after the weigh-in as they would normally do, you know, so this is going to make it more interesting, you know, and um, I just think the first couple rounds will be obviously dictating the jab, and then uh, whoever does dictate the jab, or have a better chance of winning this fight, you know, in the second half. Do you get what I mean? Because I believe it's going to be a very competitive fight. Both men will have their sort of successes. But, you know, um, I believe Canelo Alvarez will become a winner, will be the winner. You know, um, Daniel Jacobs will cause a lot of problems for uh, Canelo Alvarez using his lateral movement. Using his boxing skill and his ability to avoid big power punches with, you know, his head movement. Not only that, he's got a good jab. You know, Danny Jacobs' jabs is very, very good as well. You know, um, he can possibly, you know, um, derail Canelo Alvarez's plans. You know, uh, if he sticks to a game plan, and it doesn't get doesn't get engaged into a war. I believe uh, Daniel Jacobs can use his movement to offset Canelo Alvarez. You know, Canelo Alvarez likes to be 
stationary, likes his opponents to be stationary, so he can tee off on them. I believe Daniel Jacobs won't make that mistake, you know. If he does make that mistake, then he could get knocked out, you know. But I think he will, he won't make that mistake, you know. This is his biggest opportunity in his career, and if he wins this fight, this could could be huge for him, you know. It could be a massive shock to the boxing world. It could potentially shock the world, you know. But yeah, in my prediction, guys, I just see uh, Canelo Alvarez taking over the second half of the fight. You know, um, using this smart, smart body work uh, to tire down uh, Daniel Jacobs. You know, going to the body, fainting, using feints, great counter punching ability. It will just be a little more uh, smart with his work, I believe Canelo, because he's learned a lot from these fights and. Every time I see Canelo, he's only getting better and better, you know. So I'm not being biased here, you know. I am a Canelo Alvarez fan. I've got my t-shirt on. Team Canelo. Yeah, done now. But honestly, this ain't this ain't an easy fight for Canelo Alvarez. I'm not gonna say that I'm really confident in this pick, you know. But I'm picking Canelo Alvarez to win this fight, guys. Either by late late stoppage or a unanimous decision. You know, I believe Jacobs has got a chinny chin. But, you know, um, he's been able to ride it out for for these big main fights, you know. So I think um, it will be really... It can be, can be done. Canelo can stop Jacobs, but he's going to be determined, you know. Jacobs is going to be determined not to get um, stopped against Canelo Alvarez, I believe. Because um, if a guy is just staying in there just to survive, he'll be able to do it if he really wants to, you know. Uh, he just got to, you know, stay off the ropes, to be honest. And I believe Daniel Jacobs won't be stupid to stay on the ropes for too long against Canelo. Because Canelo can tee off on you. And we saw that in the fielding fight when the fielding was on the ropes for far too long. Do you get what I mean? Also, uh, Canelo's got to be careful because Daniel Jacobs has got a punch of his own. Do you know what I mean? I've seen both of these fighters. They've got skills that can avoid these things. So, both of them got good head movement, good boxing ability. You know, what it will come down to is the fundamentals and you, who's using that jab more effectively. You're setting up feints, you know. Because these both of these guys are so talented, it's going to be hard to differentiate um, some rounds, you know what I mean, it can be close, now, if it does go to the decision, no doubt that Canelo Alvarez will probably get this decision victory if it's close, you know, because as I mentioned, Canelo is the cash cow, you know what I mean, and a lot of decisions have been going his way, so uh, I'm not counting Daniel Jacobs out, but I just feel that Canelo is at the better point in his career at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Um, I can only see him, see him improving again and again and again. Never been disappointed with another fight afterwards with Canelo, because he tends to surprise me and he only gets better and better. So um, I'm gonna have to go with Canelo Alvarez. So Canelo Alvarez, I believe, as my final prediction, guys, is Canelo Alvarez will beat Daniel Jacobs. You know, in a very close competitive fight. So that's my opinion, guys. Canelo Alvarez by late stoppage or a unanimous decision victory over Daniel Jacobs. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Obviously, I could be wrong. You know, I'm not going to say I'm right. But most of the time, I am right. So best believe that. Go and check, go and check the record label. The record, you get me? All the predictions, you see how many predictions I got right. So, final prediction, guys. I got Canelo Alvarez with the victory. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Is there any way Daniel Jacobs can beat Canelo? Obviously, he's a boxer puncher, so these are the sort of boxers, the pure boxers that give uh, Canelo Alvarez problems. Do you get what I mean? So, um, I'm not saying that Daniel Jacobs has no chance, he could, he could surprise me and. Maybe uh, get the victory here. Yeah. Let me know your thoughts, guys. What do you think, guys? Let me know. 
as always make sure you subscribe up to the channel you know i don't have no social media no more no, i'm off of the social media so if you can share my videos um subscribe to my channel you know anything I, I, i'd appreciate that you know you understand because i'm not on no social media whatsoever and that's for my own decision you know i don't like I don't want to have social media at the moment. Yeah, just uh, promote my videos if you can. And if you enjoyed my content, just um, hit that subscribe button. You know, and support me and get behind me. Because this is my passion. I love to talk about boxing. But I'm out, guys. The ends of your boxing doses. Dosage, Canelo Alvarez. Victory over Daniel Jacobs. Let me know your thoughts.